Welcome to the channel, I'm Hayes, I talk movies all day, sometimes I talk about games, so subscribe right now if you want to be entertained, and today, I want to talk about Cyber Shadow, the 2021 indie side-scroller action game from Mechanical Studios. Now this is a game that came up on my radar due to another review, where the person played it for 15 minutes and gave his initial thoughts, which pretty much said that it's a type of game that aesthetically appeals to old school gamers, but unless you have the time and patience to get good at it, it's probably one to miss. And now that I've played it for a lot longer than 15 minutes, yeah, that's pretty accurate. Alright, so here's the thing, this game most definitely appealed to the old school gamer in me. Visually, it looks like a Super NES game, music, sound effects as well, all reminds me of the 16-bit era. Which, by the way, one of the greatest eras in video game history, but I digress. I think if you're old enough to remember the 90s, games like this are definitely going to pull on those nostalgia strings. However, if you're old enough to remember the 90s, I reckon you probably don't get a lot of time to actually play games that much these days. You gotta go to work, you gotta take care of yourself, your family and various other life commitments. Not to mention we're still in a global pandemic so video games might not be your top priority right now. So that whole time and patience thing, yeah that's gonna get tested. But to be fair, as far as hard games go, this is nowhere near the hardest. As much as it looks like an old school game, it does employ some new school mechanics, like auto saves and checkpoints. This won't make you start the entire game all over again, just the last section. Distance and difficulty between checkpoints can vary, sometimes it feels super generous with them, other times it would have you damn near crying with your health on 1 HP, a screen full of enemies and you're just wondering why has it been so long since the last save? But it does let you off on certain tasks, even if you die and have to do a section again, some things like specific enemy types or items you don't have to repeat. Most of the game tends to fall into pattern recognition and timed jumps and attacks. Figuring out the pattern doesn't necessarily make it a breeze though, because a pattern can and does change, sometimes only ever so slightly, but enough to throw you off your game plan. And then the boss battles range from, that weren't too bad, to, for f**k sakes you mother one of the things that makes the game more challenging, or frustrating depending on how you look at it, is taking damage. When you get hit, you get knocked backwards. Now because the platform ledges are often small, the amount of times you'll take a hit still have plenty of health left, but because you got knocked back, you'll fall off the platform and into the abyss of instant death. And that happens a lot. And I don't know if this is a game thing or a me thing, but I found using an analog stick meant that it's way too easy to end up facing the wrong way when trying to attack an enemy, and using a D-pad just felt cumbersome. There is a story, but it's pretty basic, something about a ninja clan and their master and there's a robot, but the robot isn't a robot and you gotta save somebody or something or other. The story is mostly there just to provide some context as to what's going on and it does that well enough. But you'll die so many times that actually remembering the story, that's a whole nother difficulty setting in and of itself. But overall it's a fun game with lots to do that can keep you busy for a good while. If you have Xbox Game Pass it's currently available as part of that and it's definitely worth trying even if it turns out you don't have the time and patience to complete it. Now if you don't have Xbox Game Pass and you gotta pay full price for it, it's a tough sell for the casual gamer. This is more for the type of person who plays Dark Souls when they're in the mood for something easy. And that's what I think of Cyber Shadow. What do you think of Cyber Shadow? Let me know down below and while you're there be sure to like, subscribe and drop a suggestion if you don't mind.